Hey guys, Mikey here with Tactic California. Thank you so much for tuning in. And today we're asking the question, am I leaving California? All right, guys, so on my videos, you know, they're very politically charged. Uh, I speak a lot about California gun laws and legislation that comes down the pipeline. And, uh, you know, obviously some content we've been covering lately has been the assault weapons ban in the state of California, uh, reclassifying ARs as assault weapons. And um, probably the most prolific comment I get in the comment section of my videos, I mean, the one that just keeps showing up over and over is F California leave. People go much farther than this. They get pretty pedantic about it, and they rant and rave about how California sucks, and they either say that they've moved from California and it's the best decision they've ever made, or they say that um, they have ne they would never, ever go to California because of the gun laws. They would never move here. Some people say they like the state, they like the beaches and all that kind of stuff, but, man, I would never drag my family there. I would never submit myself to that kind of tyranny and oppression. So to those of you that say, leave California, okay, I mean all of you. I have one response for you. Absolutely not. It's an asinine, preposterous concept that in order to win a battle, you must leave the battlefield. That doesn't make any sense. The reality is the West Coast is becoming more and more liberal every single day. You've got Washington, Oregon, and California leading the charge, but even Nevada, one of the states that has a lot of really good gun laws, people have full auto out there, there's a lot of really cool stuff out in Nevada, especially in the Vegas area, uh, but it doesn't matter, it's becoming more and more liberal. Utah, Colorado, becoming slightly more liberal. Uh, and People are starting to do magazine restrictions. They're starting to do, um, well, you can only have so many of these. You can only have one handgun every 30 days. You need to wait for a background check to clear. All this kind of stuff. For those of you that tell me to leave California, you guys live in a utopian mindset where if I experience my freedom and my pleasures and exactly what I want in my state, then I don't care what's going on around me because my state's perfect. Utopian concepts have never, ever, ever worked in the entire history of mankind. It doesn't work that way. Why? Because you have something other people want. So guess what's gonna happen? Violence and legislation will come your way. If we look at history, one thing's clear. There's no such thing as a utopia. If you just sit there and don't fight the fight, you'll lose. Why would I leave the front lines of the battlefield here in California to go experience freedom somewhere else only to know that that legislation and that violence is coming my way eventually? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I like to think of other people before myself. Yeah, I could move to Idaho in a heartbeat. I could get a job there. I could probably start my own businesses and, and, ha and it'd be very successful and I'd have all these wonderful gun laws that I could live under where I can basically do what I want, have what I want, whenever I want. The reason I don't do that is because that's not how you win a fight. Eventually, legislation, like we talked about on the whole West Coast, is gonna just push in. And New York and Jersey, and you start to see all this oppressive gun laws just kind of sweep inland. That's what's gonna happen. That's what happens with laws in the United States. So not only am I thinking about the Californians that live here that would be experiencing oppression while I get to do whatever I want, I would know that eventually my children and my children's children, no matter where I live, would eventually experience this opposition. And I would rather lead by example, show them that I will stand my ground, I will stay in my state, and I will fight for my gun rights here in my home state, than just run away. Running is what a coward would do. I'm sure there were plenty of Germans in Nazi-occupied Germany where as soon as a certain province got taken over, they said, well, let's just move to this province over here. Well, let's just go over here. You know what happened? They eventually left Germany altogether and they were even pursued beyond their own country. If you let a tyrannical government do what they want whenever they want, they will just start consuming other states. It's a fact. California sets the tone and sets the bar for gun legislation across the United States. I know all these people talking about, oh, featureless rifles are, are gay and oh, they're stupid and I hate them. You guys are so stupid for letting your, your state do that. Come here, move to this state and fight this fight with me or keep your mouth shut. I'm sick and tired of people telling us what we need to do in our state while experiencing the comfort and freedom in their own state. You know what? If you wanna be a part of this fight, 
come here. I will get you engaged. I will have you going door to door getting petitions. I will, I will get you signed up with the FPC and the NRA. We'll make you a certified firearms instructor. You'll go out there teaching gun safety to other people. But if you don't, if you don't, you do not have an opinion. The internet has given people the assumption that their opinion matters. Now, I don't mean to insult a lot of you, but let's be real here. If you do not have a dog in the fight, your opinion doesn't matter. If you're not someone who is stepping up, who is genuinely trying to solve the problem, don't speak. I'm sick and tired of you guys telling us Californians what we need to do with our state, what we need to do with our senators. We need to impeach Brown. Why, so Lieutenant, so Lieutenant Governor Gavin Newsom can come in? Oh, that'll be way better. Good idea, guys, let's do that. Let's use all our resources to get a guy who's on the way out anyway. We'll impeach him, we'll waste all our resources on that so that Lieutenant Gavin Newsom can come in. You know, that, that'll, that'll be really, really good. Now I'm angry, but I'm trying to make a point here. You don't leave the front lines of a battle and expect the battle to be won. And you certainly don't get to tell people on the front lines what to do if you're not even in the back, you're not even in the fight. You're in some other state somewhere telling the people on the front lines what they need to do. Get engaged or keep your mouth shut. If you like this video, please click like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'm Micah with Tati California reminding you that we are behind enemy lines and the fight is on. Thanks for watching.